lot of engineers and machinists are often unsure when and how a plastic material should be annealed or stress relieved. Many believe that a plastic shape must be stress relieved prior to or during the machining of the material to reduce material movement and aid the machinist in holding tolerances. This is true. However, this doesn't mean that every machinist needs to have an oven nor place their material into it prior to starting their job. In fact, this may be very ineffective and actually detrimental if not done correctly. Here at Bedecker Plastics, our experience has proven that very few machined plastic parts require an additional stress relieving cycle via the use of an oven. We source the majority of our plastics from material manufacturers that provide a stress relieved material as part of their production process before it even ends up on our warehouse shelf. So more often than not, an additional stress relieving cycle is not needed. Most machinists understand that plastics will tend to move during and even after machining. What things contribute to this material movement? Using dull or improperly designed machine tools, excessive heat generation from using improper machining speeds and feed rates, machining away large volumes of material, particularly from one side of the stock shape versus the other plus the fact that all plastics will still hold some amount of internal stress which is simply left over from the manufacturing process. The best way to combat this potential for material movement is to follow good plastic machining guidelines which include using the right cutting tools, the right feeds and speeds, and using flood coolant to keep your part cool. For most general machining tolerances, just doing all of this will be enough to hit your basic tolerance requirements. However, for extremely tight tolerance requirements, sometimes extra steps must be taken. Putting your stock shape in an oven prior to even cutting into your material is not typically recommended. Often mistakes can be made and one can actually induce more stress into the material if the process is not done correctly. If stress relieving step is needed for tight tolerances, a much safer alternative to oven stress relieving is to utilize a machining technique called rough machining. When rough machining, the machinist first machines their part, leaving all the dimensions a bit oversized. I recommend leaving approximately 60 thousandths of an inch or so on all dimensions. Then the part must be set aside and allowed to sit for 24 to 48 hours. In this time, any movement that will likely occur will most likely happen since the majority of the desired material has been removed. Essentially, the part is stress relieving itself just sitting there. After this 24 to 48 hour period, then the part can be put back on the machine for the light finish work to clean up all the final dimensions. As mentioned, this rough machining step is extremely effective and allows the machinists to hit their tolerance requirements in the vast majority of cases and they do so without even using an oven. However, for the most challenging parts and the tightest of tolerances, there are instances where an oven stress relieving cycle can prove necessary. For example, parts that require precision flatness or parts that have intricate and non-symmetrical contours. In such cases, an immediate oven stress relief cycle can be effective. We still first recommend a rough machining step However, after roughing, then place the parts into a calibrated time and temperature controlled oven, closely following our recommended annealing cycles. One of the more common mistakes is the use of an uncalibrated or poorly circulated oven, resulting in poor temperature control. Also, removing parts before they are cooled to the touch will thermally shock the parts and may induce more stress into the material. Ensure that our recommended guidelines are precisely followed to ensure the best chance of success for those tight tolerance jobs. Both our machining guidelines and stress relieving cycles are conveniently located on the Bedecker Plastics website under our technical resources section. Of course, if you prefer, we are more than happy to machine your tight tolerance parts for you in our state of the art plastic only precision machine shop. We are always here to help. Please feel free to add your comments below like and share this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.